Hi everyone, uh, this is Fazluddin. Welcome to Technology Adda. Today I am going to talk about a uh, very interesting uh, tool which is uh, New Relic. So this tool is really fantastic in uh, software development. So we can use this tool for uh, different purposes. Okay. So I am going to cover the New Relic basics as part of session. So after completion of this session, you will get uh, some fair understanding on uh, New Relic. Okay, let's move to the, our uh, first slide. So in this slide, I'm explained uh, what are the topics I'm going to cover as part of this session. So first topic is uh, what is New Relic, and uh, next one is data management and handling, and uh, data analysis, and uh, handling incidents uh, faster, and uh, sample dashboard. Okay, let's move to first topic. So what is New Relic? So it is an um, uh, observability platform, okay, that helps you to build better software. So using this platform, you can um, monitor many things and you can build better software, okay. And apart from that, um, you can bring data from uh, any digital source, okay. Means like you can connect to the different uh, sources to New Relic and you can push the data. Okay, software, different softwares if you have and different sources you have, you can push the data. Okay, and it will help you to understand uh, your system. Okay, and uh, it will, the data will help you to improve the, your system uh, performance or any other things, features. Okay, and New Relic, New Relic is uh, built for full stack observability mainly. Okay, and apart from that, uh, the whole picture of everything that enabled to your system to deliver your value to your customer. Okay, and uh, uh, the container running uh, microservices in the cloud, the mobile website shopping cart. Okay, so everything will, can be pushed to New Relic. Okay, and it link it can link to the all uh, relevant data, which can be uh, monitored and which can be uh, analyzed. Okay. So those data also you can uh, push to this. Okay, let's move to the next slide. So here I have given a pretty high level uh, diagram like uh, how the new relic uh, will communicate to the different uh, uh, systems and how the data will be pushed to the new relic and uh, how the data will be monitored. Okay, you can see like uh, how the alerts also new relic will generate the alerts. So you can see different dollars also it will generate and how the persons will connect to this and uh, you view the you can view the information okay if you see the mobile da mobile data also you can push and individual javascript agents also can push and servers can push to new relay okay finally we can uh, monitor the data by connecting to the new relay okay let's move to the next slide and uh, in this uh, slide uh, we are going to discuss on data management and uh, handling okay so data management and handling like uh, uh, how we are going to push the data so that matters here okay you can capture and organize and make sense of your data in your relic okay? no matter where it comes from okay as we saw in uh, previous picture also we saw different sources to push the data okay and uh, new relic agents and integration to automatically collect data from common frameworks in the tools okay the agents are can be integrated easily into any application and uh, those agents will push the data to new relic very easily okay and uh, new relic apis are very efficient and uh, and those are designed uh, specific to business and technologies okay and uh, there are uh, multiple uh, features we can see as part of uh, New Relic, uh, okay, and we have wide range of observability tools in New Relic, okay. So uh, coming to that list, I have provided some lists like application monitoring and uh, browser monitoring and infrastructure monitoring and log management, mobile monitoring, network monitoring and serverless monitoring and synthetic 
monitoring. So these all our features are very very useful features and uh, which can be used as per as per our requirement. Okay, application monitoring is very 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 good feature like where we can monitor many things related to the application, how our application is running, what is the performance of application, everything. Okay, and coming to the log management, uh, we can uh, log the data and we can search the data and we can um, debug the issues. Okay, using the log management and networking monitoring, how the network performance related to the cloud servers, all those things we can configure and we can monitor that. Okay, these are the list of uh, observability tools uh, supported by New Relic, which you can use as part of uh, New Relic. Okay, let's move to the next slide. So coming to the data analysis, so this is one of the part of New Relic, like how we can analyze the data. Okay. After data stored into the new relic, the new relic platform can alert you the problems. Okay, so it will give you the alerts like if there is any mismatch in the data, like you can uh, configure the thresholds. Okay, if you find, for example, I can give like uh, if that log contains uh, some error string. Okay, you should get that um, alert. You can configure that specifically in new relic. So you will get the events. Okay, and in the in the event mails, right? What are the information you need? Okay, metrics. Okay, all those things you'll get it in the mail. Okay, and um, there are we can explore your data visualize also. Okay, so visually we can um, uh, showcase the data like how it looks like. Okay, uh, we can jump into our data and navigate all your data. So internally, one more good feature is like. Uh, you, you can go into the data and you can drill down to the low level okay like what kind of data and from where it got generated and what is the issue exactly you can drill down and you can see the data okay that's a, a very good feature uh, available in new relic and uh, query and visualizing your data okay use our uh, use the new relic uh, create a dashboard visualization okay we will have a dashboard so anyways in end of this uh, uh, session i'm going to show you the dashboard also how it looks like okay you can um, define your own dashboard okay to see how you want to see the data okay and uh, you will have new relic query language through which you can search the data and uh, you can find okay what exactly you want to see okay and you can query your data programmatically also okay access your data through uh, NetGraph and GraphQL and APIs. Okay, you can connect to that um, new relic and you can uh, write a program and you can fetch the data and you can analyze the data also. Okay, and um, that's the support the data analysis. There are different ways uh, we can analyze the data. Okay, through dashboards and through querying, through integrating your application through programmatic way. So all these three three ways you can um, analyze the data. Okay. There are a lot the very uh, helpful features in the new relic so which can be integrated easily and which can be used very well by the development team okay let's move to the next slide so handling incidents faster so when i'm explaining about uh, new relic uh, it, it can it will generate the incidents okay so incident motions like like for example i get the real time like uh, if server is down okay so you don't know like some uh, DevOps team wants some uh, intimation like if server is down, if some microservices uh, uh, crashed, okay, some 500 error, something is there, okay. So if you find that error, you need to generate, you want to generate any incidents, okay, you can generate the incidents using that one. For example, DevOps and uh, site reliability and network operations teams need reliable and real time alerts, okay. So for them, every, every different uh, uh, Features are there which can be supported uh, for this incident. Okay, we can configure as per our, uh, our requirement. Okay, and uh, coming to that, um, uh, there are multiple features how it works in the new relic is like uh, we ha it has uh, applied uh, intelligence. Okay, and uh, which works like a hybrid machine learning engine and automatically detects anom anomalies and uh, reduce the alert noise and uh, enriches incidents with the context so that you can uh, respond faster to the incidents. Okay. And proactive detection, and uh, it will like unusually app behavior and get it checks the unusual app behaviors and analyze analyze of uh, this unusual behaviors into Slack. Okay, it can connect to the not using Slack, so it can connect to the webhook also. Okay, and uh, it will uh, deliver the messages when you need them. Okay, 
and uh, getting the notification so we can set up the notification uh, for that okay your data sources and get notified when system needs uh, your attention okay preserve your attention and control how many threshold violations should fire before you you are notified okay we can configure the threshold uh, before sending the notification okay so if some error happened if it has happened uh, five times six times ten times then you need to get the notification so you can set that uh, threshold also so incidents incidents monitoring and incidents creations everything is very uh, very much possible in uh, new relic and as i told the devops team and site reliability and network operations team they want to uh, get some notifications that they want to monitor some system you know it is like uh, uh, the reliability of the system is very very much required okay so so this tool will help you out to make sure that your system is reliable if there is any problem how to debug it also it will help you out okay let's move to the next slide so here uh, uh, we came to the last slide of this session and uh, here I have given uh, some sample uh, dashboard which uh, appears after configuration of your uh, new relic. Okay, you can see the errors count here. The like, graphically very, very, very good actually. You can see like how many errors happen for different incidents and uh, usage by browser. You can see the performance like how much it is got used, browser used. Okay, different browsers and web transactions performance. Okay, how much it is happened and uh, system load load time and all those things you can see in one one, one more uh, parameter and uh, they're different you can configure and con uh, customize this uh, dashboard as per your requirement okay so when you open the neural link you can have a glance on that and you can see like oh this is the problem happened okay performance went down and oh some uh, 2000 errors happened uh, last night okay you can you will have one more feature is like and we can um, filter this uh, dashboard by the time also within half an hour or one hour or uh, previously six days seven days okay so what is the uh, what how is the, how it looks like our uh, performance and all those things we can uh, um, filter by the parameters okay different parameter time parameters okay so that's how this dashboard will looks uh, very good in the new relic and uh, you can configure and uh, you can see uh, immediately what is the status of your application and uh, how the performance is happened and the network um, things also you can uh, monitor in the dashboard and uh, whatever the parts you want okay which are the teams monitoring your application they can configure as per the requirement and they can uh, check the dashboard in the new relic okay new relic has a lot of other features which i'm not able to cover as part of this session i want to give you like what exactly the new relic and uh, uh, uh what are the how the data got uh, getting pushed into the new relic and uh, what is the what are the other features uh, basic features of new relic i'm like, covered as part of the session i hope you guys uh, like this session and uh, i hope you got uh, some fair uh, understanding of uh, new relic okay and uh, uh, we and we can came to end of uh, this session and uh, thank you so much for uh, listening to my session and uh, please like share and uh, subscribe to my channel for more technical videos okay bye bye thank you